Et puis, nous avons nous We know that our God is faithful. He shall see him through, even with the children and the family. I want to thank you for the leaders of this church for allowing me to come and minister unto you. It on date na mushi na kwata to mwana no mpashi wa mshilo mudishano wonse mkwae. Nat pepe. Mighty God our Father our Redeemer we thank you. We give you the glory, the honor that you deserve. And now, Lord, may you speak unto us. May the meditation of our hearts and our minds be acceptable before you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bebe niba niba tmuachita wino kuisa. Bebe na tmule seka ko, mule seka ko. Hallelujah. Chali be chika nka loku seka. Pame nso para moneka wino nga mule seka. Hallelujah. Mwaru fofo ba pepe sheva snot bishop atu seka kwa liwa mine mukwai. Fila angu shefin tu e mwonga tamule seka kutumule tinya bantu. Hallelujah. No mba ya fearful and wonderfully made in the image of God. So mfaka mule seka kwa hallelujah. This morning I've entitled the theme Destined to be fruitful. Destined to be fruitful. Tell your neighbor destined to be fruitful. I want to speak two things on this theme before we go to the scripture. Destiny can be defined as to what God says as we shall be. Destiny kutu atila efyo lesa alanda efyo tukaba. Because when God created man and a woman in his image, we hear from the scripture that he blessed them. And he said, I've given you power authority to rule to subdue and to have dominion so when we talk of destiny we talk of the things that god says we shall be if you are salanda if you to kaba not if you are to balanda ni mwa bantu kuti bateti bali ata bakabombe bali ata bakakote kwa bana bali ata bakachitefi umuntu kuti alanda if you are fire but if you are salanda if you are alanda if you fikirishiwa Hallelujah. So never be bothered of what people may say about you, what they may define you, but what you should be concerned is what God says about you. And whatever God says about you shall come to pass. Whether umuntu alefwaya, talefwaya. Whether Satan abombe or tabombe, as long as God says it shall be so and it shall be done. And that is destiny. Hallelujah. With destiny, nothing can be changed. Not even the circumstance can change your destiny. Not even your status can change your destiny. Not even whatever position can change your destiny. What has been written, what has been said, it shall come to pass. And when we talk about fruitful, to be fruitful, we mean to produce. We are saying beyond just production. But we are saying to Rika. And therefore Satan says, I have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So even our destiny, Satan is at work. The thing that God has said for us, Satan is working against us. And therefore it is our duty, it is our responsibility as Christians to stand in the right position and get our possession and stand in the right place on the promises of God and declare that which is ours. Hallelujah. If it is for more, you get it by force, by fire. Ah ah. Because in the most time of the Kumeresha, 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 ah ah. It is my thing. It is my destiny to rule. It is my destiny to expand. It is my destiny to succeed both spiritually, physically, and financially. Hallelujah. So the main point that God said, he said he blessed them. That is a point which I like. Before he gave them dominion, before he gave them the charge to go and rule over the earth, he blessed them. He blessed them. Bebe ni ba ne ba ti palo chitu chimo chikankala. 
and the blessing is very important because even in our physical life as children but we still desire the blessings of our parents kuma kitchen party bale but kulima yonka konka kwenshi ne wa kula ine at fish na la konka ko chose ni kwata but icho nje kabila lipalo ukufuma kulima yo lipalo ukufuma kulitata but umwana wendela mwipalo ya bafyashi ne fintu fira yanguka echo mwana nga pule funde ba wishi na ba nina nga ba mufumamo umwana ala pa walu bana enda takwete nsansa ale ede patitu chakwa tale kutanishi ale kabile palo ukufuma kuba fiashi haleluya wewe niba neba ti ipalo ya liba ichika nkala echo na le so mwine nitu abu mbe chalo na ishibati chacho abu mbile ni chalo chashupa chalo chalo bana satana na ina ali baba nchito ale bomboko na ula imiri moya kwe echo atati mweba na banji ni kalamu chingirila ne palo ya ndi na mupala imwe nitu mwatende kakuba mchalo mu abu I've given you the charge. I've given you the power. I've given you the authority to rule, to subdue and have dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah church. So we must be able to understand that point number one, that destiny, we must be able to understand the destiny to be fruitful. We must be able to know and understand that you and I who have been created for greatness who have been created to succeed who have been created to prosper who have been created to be fruitful who have been created to be multiplication hallelujah hallelujah that's why he says go and rule to have rule is to have control to have dominion is to understand and know who you are in Christ Jesus because in you there is Christ Jesus and his power is in you working in you so you must be able to understand that i am the child of god and i am carrying the authority of the lord jesus christ and whatever christ has given me i've got that power to control it hallelujah bebe ni banaiba atinam kwata power to control over it and because he has given us dominion he says i have given you a seed i've given you not ordinary seed but a bearing seed na mupere mbuto ile twala hallelujah ekutira i mwena ine twalikuwa tembuto you and i we are loaded muri mwe na muri ine mwali ba properties ole sabi kamo bebe ni ba ne but ni limbuto ine i can't hear the church saying ni limbuto ine hallelujah because god says i am giving you as you go out into this world as you rule over this world as you take charge of this world he says i'm giving you a seed bearing and a fruit of tree not a barren tree uh -uh. but i'm giving you a seed and when you look at a seed a seed never dies and you and i as long as we are in christ we shall never die when we look at the seed a seed does not give up you and i we have got a spirit to conquer that's what the bible says we are more than conquerors in the name of jesus christ hallelujah pantu na muminga ila nina ila mena na muminga kutu mwaipo sere mbuto mwana mwine ya lasha nsha na muminga ya la mena mwaipo se pachishala apale nunka mwana mwine omwa nunka ya la pola ya la nina ya la mena wino wino mwaipo se mpameshi mwana ende shani mwameshi at a certain time ya la nina ya la mena wino wino hallelujah Fiorestar atulenga imwe na ine ndima kutu apita mu mafia kutu apita mu challenges i am no muchalo what we should know is that you are a seed umwina kristu apona fie to tenant tata tupona iyo mwina kristu ife tupita fie mufintu 
ifiavi pacite i nono pandi fe kalula we sunilesa ni tutuawa lesa ala tusumbula pandi we are the seed we do not die we always come back hallelujah hallelujah church when you look at the seed whether mule fire ta mule fire it shall multiply and that is your portion your portion is not for you and I to be stagnant the portion for you and me is not to stand at one place we have been destined for greater things we have been destined to succeed we have been destined to succeed in every areas of our lives ekutela when you become as you are a seed just to know that when you fall down you are there you shall rise again echo ndeba titabasulo omuntu epo achirino omwewo pali babantu obasulwa atibaleta bakope badebo nawo atibato akote kona abana ipsheni ba elizabeth balamweba mubukote le sali bo fushenson elizabeth ali seka mubukote akwato mwana uni le so utabwisha ma yo ni le so uchombololo yo pepo bale kuseka tibalia shoba kota ko inganda adepo le sa kupere inganda pantu le sa ni le sa haleluya pantu le sa shoba bika muri mwe na ine abika mwe fintu ifikalamba kuti twali na pashite no no but twala sa tuseke na kabili ni le so utalekeresha abakwe iti ni po kuishi wa kutila imwe na ine tuli mbuto and we have got that power and authority it is very important to know that I have got that power and authority there are things in life you have to command them because the power is in you na chila bebo luchero na chi whatever situation you pass through you must command it to work for your well being COVID-19 should not control you and I. We should control it. HIV should not control you. You should control it. Diabetes should not control you. You should control it. Everything under the sun, the mandate and the power has been given to humanity. It is your choice to stand and use that authority that God has given you. You can begin to declare power and authority over every disease in your life, every circumstance in your life, every mountain standing on your way, you can command it out in the name of Jesus. Because power and authority has been given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can even command money to come to your direction. Ah ah. Ndefo ayen dalaba begin to command. In dalaba tashisa fi ah ah. Command. May you come to my direction. You have got that power and authority. Because everything under the sun is being ruled, is being taken care of by humanity. And that is what God has given us. Once we understand our role, once we understand our capacity of what God has given us, no situation shall undermine what God has given you. I like your minister when he said, challenge accepted. Meaning, you are putting what you are passing through to your control. When you pass through death, let not death control you. May you control death. Pantu le sadi chimcha neufa. Pantu ni le sa mufa na mumweo. Whatever situation you pass through, crying and seeking pity will not take you anywhere. It's time for you to stand and say, I have found myself in this circumstance, but I've got that power to control. May is it as it happened? let it be but i know i shall pull through hallelujah every circumstance in your life you shall pull through because that is your destiny hallelujah point number two understanding the destiny to be fruitfulness when we read in the scripture in the two kings chapter four we hear about this woman the interest of this woman was when he went she went to Elisha. I the good Elisha mo fi wa kwalesa. No ku mo kuti that my husband is dead and as you are aware my husband used to be a fearful man of God but he was owing money some people. Kabiri abo ba lesta on in dalama they are going to come and get my children. Then Elisha says what do you want me to do for you? And what do you have in your house? I want to say that God used 
uses what we have to make us increase hallelujah because you and I we are not empty uh -uh. you and I we are loaded you and I we have got potential potential that can come out of us no person has got nothing to offer you and I we have got things we can contribute even in the kingdom of God each one of us we are relevant in our community in our family even in the church that's why Elisha says what do you have in the house what do you have and this woman said I've got only an empty jar and here Elisha says go to your neighbors and ask and borrow other jars and you start pouring hallelujah 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 tell, tell your neighbor you're not empty and we hear that after pouring the oil I become of the Yaisula to Amola Kutila that all the jars of Mampela they are full and he said now may you get them make use of them hallelujah what I want to say is that God uses what we have to make us fruitful even when we are seeking something we already have something in us which God has given us it is from what we have that God begins to expand it when we look at this woman he had shared only a jar but out of it God was able to multiply it by having many jars full of oil and above all Elisha said go and sell them which means to be fruitful you must work hallelujah who are fruitful my fellow believers you need to work for things to move for the things to be multiplied you need to hard work you need to work without work nothing can exist even Christ Jesus himself he worked even God himself when created the world he worked which means humanity is mandated to work for us to be fruitful you want to pass your exams miracles will not happen just by sleeping you need hard work to study and have good results you need an employment you need to continue working seeking for it until god answers god does not work with people who are idle hallelujah what Elisha demonstrated here was saying that God does not use people who are idle and idle is not a portion of humanity humanity was created to be creative humanity was created to be creative what Elisha did was demonstrating work with creativity that I've given you this as much as I give you may you go and multiply it so whatever you have you must aim to multiply it to make use of it and he says the rest may you manage them which means God has given us responsibility responsibility to manage that which we have hallelujah as he says I've given you power I've given you dominion authority he has also given us the responsibility to look after what God has given us even our money our resources whatever we have God wants us to be responsible to manage them accordingly that we are supposed to do he tells this woman may you make use of what you have creativity brings an increase because this woman was taught to do with the things that she had made to go and sell and make use of what was needed hallelujah hallelujah at that point you need to understand that God has called us to greatness as much as God has given us dominion 
and authority. And God has said, you and I, we must go and multiply and increase what we have. Be ready in mind that we have got a responsibility in our creativity, in our working. We must know that we are destined for better things. We are destined for greatness. But we must also know that you and I can never bear fruits without Christ. Hallelujah. Without Jesus, you and I, we are nothing. Without Jesus, our labor is in vain. Without Jesus, we can never accomplish anything. That's why in John chapter 15, verse 1 to 5, we hear Jesus says, I am the vine and my father is the gardener. And we are the branches. A branch never bear fruits while you cut it from the tree. It needs the tree to get the fruits, the nutritious that it needed. And so you and I, we can never bear fruits without Jesus. We must be able to be attached to the source. And the source of our fruitiness, the source of our blessing, the source of our expansion, the source of our increase is in Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says the blessings of God Adzi, no sorrow. When God blesses us, his blessings brings fulfillment. When you are in Christ, you learn to be content. When you are in Christ, you learn to be satisfied. When you are in Christ, you learn to appreciate. And when you are not in Christ, even when you labor, you continue sweating without satisfaction until you recognize that your fruitfulness, there must be a source which I need to be attached to. And once you abide to the source, who is Jesus Christ, whatever you labor shall be able to bring joy in our lives. Hallelujah. Even as God continues to bless us, even as we continue to expand, even as we continue to seek to increase in our finances, in our academic, in every area of our lives, we must remember that without Jesus, we can never bear fruits. We can bear fruits which may seem like we are doing fine, but without Jesus, it is literally nothing. But the Bible says, if we remain in him and him in us, we shall bear fruits. We shall be able to increase and to multiply and expand. Because barrenness, failure is never the portion to those that are attached to God, to those that are connected to God, to those that have got a fellowship with God, to those that have got a relationship with God. They are always fruitful regardless of their circumstance. They always find the joy because they are connected to the source. And the source of our lives, the source of our increase, the source of our expansion is Jesus Christ. We must remember without Jesus, you and I cannot possess the dominion that God has given us. Even as he says, I've given you power and authority. He wants you and I to put ourselves in the right position. We station ourselves in the position of Christ because when we stand with Christ, then we can never fail. When we are in Christ Jesus, we'll be able to do unmeasurable things because we know that Christ is in us and is living in us as he's working in us. His power is in us. His power is doing miracles and wonders things upon our lives. My prayer is that you and I shall live a life that is fruitful. And that is our destiny. Our destiny is not to complain. Our destiny for us is not to be beggars. Our destiny is not for us to be failures. God has designed you and I to succeed in life. To succeed whatever we touch. Wherever we go, we shall be a blessing and a blessing to others. Because that is our destiny. Only if we walk in the Lord, only if we remain in Him, and in Him, we shall bear fruits. May our God bless us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? We are thankful, Lord, our Father. Indeed, for speaking unto us such as this time, that indeed you have created us and you have called us for greatness. You blessed humanity and in, our, in your image you made us in your resemblance for us to carry the power and authority that you have. We pray that mighty God you may make us to be 
productive and above all to make us continue to remain in the vine because once we are in a vine mighty God attached to the source we know we can bear fruits in every areas of our lives we refuse mighty God to be controlled by circumstance neither by the situation for we know that we are more than conquerors in the name of Jesus we cancel every works of the enemy that wants to destroy our destiny that wants to destroy our future and the good plans that you have set for us for we know that Jehovah you have got good plans for every individual and the plans is for us to prosper and that is our portion and that is our destiny in the name of Jesus we pray this morning that Lord may you touch each one of us regardless of our situation that we are passing through any disease that we may have in our lives oh God we, we, we bind it under our feet in the name of Jesus for we know that Lord no disease has got authority over our bodies for we know that Lord power and authority is in us and we use it mighty God in power and in glory in Jesus name we pray amen and amen